welcome back. Into the valley now with Charlton, down in 15th and taking on an Exeter side just a point outside the playoffs. Hunting just a second success at the Valley in 16 league trips. It was Extra City who got their noses in front. Reese Cole's defence splitting pass sent Grecian striker James Scott clear. His finish, some show of composure. Finding form under Michael Appleton on their day, it's sure difficult to deal with the Addicts forward line. Combining here, Alfie Mays didn't cross, picked up Chucks and Ike's header, which came back off the crossbar, leaving Corey Blackett Taylor with one he couldn't miss for the equaliser. With the game back on level terms, the host then took charge. A penalty was awarded in the 65th minute after Tanay Watson caught Yannick Vildscher on his blind side, bringing the wide man to his knees. Nikkei's spot kick was pushed onto the post by Exeter keeper Sinasalo, following in, always sniffing out opportunities to notch another, Alfie May. The Grecians next lost their skipper, Will Ameson. Many feel the defender was pretty unfortunate to see red for that slip. The name Lieburn is one that we're used to hearing ring out around the valley. Miles has certainly taken up the reins from his father, Carl, rattling in his third goal of the campaign. Goal scorers are what every club desire. In Alfie May, Charlton have one of the best. He scored 20 plus league goals in each of his last two seasons. That clinical finish, his sixth already this campaign. That's three straight home league wins for the Addicts in a single season for the first time since December 2021. Unbeaten leaders Portsmouth stay a point ahead of Oxford at the top of League One after both won. Bolton move up to third. Barnsley replace Port Vale in the playoff spots. Leighton Orient's match against Lincoln City will be rescheduled after the game was abandoned in the second half during a medical emergency, after which a supporter sadly passed away. All of us at ITV Sports send our sincere condolences to the supporters' family and friends and everyone at Leighton Orient.